Hi everybody, time to dust off your spelunking gear because we're going deeper down the capital wishing well than we've ever gone before. Two words, data practices. On the surface, state government is exactly what you see on the news, committee meetings, press conferences, and floor sessions. But that is only the surface. Down below you find this, a massive pile of information. Property tax records, salary records, criminal records, email records, phone records. It's all collected, it's all archived, and supposedly it all belongs to you. You see, in 1974, Minnesota passed the Minnesota Government Data Practices Act. It was created largely in reaction to Watergate, and the basic tenant is that every piece of information generated at taxpayer expense is open to the public except for the stuff that's not. Universal transparency is a commendable idea, but when you actually put it into practice, the public gets fidgety. For example, do you really want some person off the street to have unlimited access to your child's student records? There are a thousand examples like this, and deciding which information to make public is a precarious balancing performance that's based more on social pressures than legal arguments. That's why, over the years, the Data Practices Act has metastasized into a big yellow book full of rules, guidelines, exceptions, clarifications, and procedures. In short, accessing data can be complicated. But don't worry, I want to introduce you to a division of government you've probably never heard of. It's called the Information Policy Analysis Division, and it's located back here in the world's most exciting building, administration. These are the people who know the Data Practices Act better than anybody else, and it's their job to decipher the legislature's intentions of what should be public and what should be private. So if you're curious about government data, who has it, what's in it, and how to get it, remember four words, Information Policy Analysis Division. Find their number, call them, ask questions, get your answers. And that's your cartoon spelunking lesson. If you jump down a wishing well, you pop out in a cubicle farm. Welcome to the beautiful caverns of government. That's all the time we have this week. Let us know what doesn't make sense, and we'll do our best to figure out how it happens.